Mm, I literally have nothing else to do, so might as well talk about my university, right? Hi, hello, and welcome to my point of view. <laughs> I don't know how to like make introductions, so like let's just stick with that in the meantime. So anyway, um, in this video, I'll be talking about how I actually got into Waseda. So yeah, if you haven't watched my previous video, I basically told you guys that I am a Waseda student now. Yippee! Funny story, actually. Waseda wasn't actually my first uni choice. So yeah. And if you're wondering what my first uni was, it was actually Tokyo Exo. <laughs> Tokyo. No, it's not Tokyo. It's Technical University Munich or TUM in Germany. So yeah, your girl actually wanted to go to Germany before going to Japan, but I will get into that in a second. In grade 10, our school already asked us on like where we want to go to uni. And of course, me being the immature person that I am, I answered Japan. You know why? It's because of anime. <laughs> Honestly though, I actually really wanted to go to Japan because of the culture. It's like how I'm already like attached to <laughs> anything Japan because Again, I'm already like familiar with their culture and like I really really love like Japan in general actually and like whenever I go there I feel so attached and you know it's like a type of place that I would be really comfortable in like learning right so that's literally what I thought when I answered like where I wanted to study in university. So yeah, I answered Ger I answered Japan. And then one day, me and my family had like a family dinner and then I talked about my university destination. And oh my god, you know what my dad said? He was like, oh, wanna go to Germany? Like Germany has better facilities like they're more known for the engineering course so and then we also have like family members in germany and he himself was from germany well not really but like he's full-on indonesian but his university was in karlsruhe 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 institute of technology so he's already familiar with like german cities and like their culture so he'd be more relaxed if I were to be in Germany and, and to top it all off, like all the universities in Germany are like free especially like the public ones so I guess I would be able to like sacrifice my happiness to go to Japan to go to Germany and like relive my dad's college life I guess I mean I'm fine with it and you know maybe when I graduate or maybe when I'm still there I can always just go to Japan for vacations right so like I don't mind it at all so yeah after that talk um, I told to the gu guidance counselor that I would go to Germany instead of Japan mid-January, February, I got a text from my friend. So it turns out that she wanted to apply to a Japanese university. And that Japanese university was Waseda University. So she was like, oh, Della, do you want to apply to this uni with me? So I was like, oh, um, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, Waseda is a good school anyway. So of course, I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe there's a chance for me to go to a Japan uni even if my main goal is to go to like Germany, right? So I was like, you know what? YOLO, like let's do it. So yeah, we kind of like applied together. But at the same time, she finished before me. So I was like, okay, cool. The application was basically to gather all like the documents and I have to actually have the hard copy of those documents and send them by mail from Jakarta, Indonesia to Japan, Tokyo. Oh my goodness. I was so stressed. You know why? Because the application period ends at the 25th of February, 2021. And you know what date was I was where like my friend asked me to like prepare for the application to Waseda. It was again mid mid-feb. 
So um, I only had like a few weeks to prepare and I, I haven't even asked for like my predicted So I was panicking. I didn't know what to do. So again, I of course dragged my friend with me because she was the one who like asked me to apply in the first place so like of course she's also responsible so yeah that's what we did what did they ask for oh they asked for like a recommendations later letter from my teacher my high school transcript from i think grade 10 up until grade 12 and at the time i was again still in grade 12 i haven't even finished like the mock exam so um, the final final exam for grade 12 hasn't been in that uh, transcript of course and then the graduation certificate but since I have not graduated of course it's gonna be like a certificate of when I will graduate this year so like that type of deal and then they also asked for my IB predicted grades so yeah these documents had to be filled with like some like financial documents but so yeah um so everything that is needed by the school i kind of like winged it not gonna lie so okay personal information that was that was done that was checked and then i had to also do the the recommendations letter dude asking that to my physics teacher it was so bad i remember like going up to him privately and be like hi sir sorry to bother you but can you do my recommendations letter and you know what he freaking said he said oh all right just send me your cv i'll make it in a few weeks so i was like wait a few weeks mind you i was racing against time at this point so I was like, oh, um, can't you do it in like three days? So yeah, I wanted him to basically finish my recommendations letter by like, by the weekends. I know this is asking for too much, but I assure you, like after this, I'm not gonna ask any other thing related to my uni ever again. On the same day where I talked to my physics teacher, I also talked to my DP advisor where I needed my predicted grades. She also said, oh yeah, it's gonna take a few weeks to get my predicted. I was because I only had like a week to prepare all these documents from the school and send them to uh, Waseda, right? Because again, it ended at the 24th, the 25th of Feb. So yeah, that freaking happened. I was panicking, but I was like, oh, okay. Um, I think they could manage doing it by three days, four days, I don't know. I went back to my physics teacher and asked him if he could make my recommendations letter like as fast as he can. And then yeah, he told he told me Give him my CV. But at the time I did not make a C I did not have a CV yet. Yet. Yeah. So you know what I did? I literally made a CV in the span of two hours. Two hours! So yeah, your girl actually like made a CV in one sitting. Like at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'll do whatever it takes to just get everything done, get everything sent. That's it. Like that is my number one job at this point. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm finishing this, blah, blah, blah. I finished it in the span of two hours. And I remember sending him at 3 p.m. on a Friday. So yeah, he was like, okay, thanks. I'll do it as soon as I can. So I had faith in him. So yeah, you know what? It's cool. Maybe he can like finish it by Monday because I feel bad for like, you know, make him do like work by the weekend. So you know what? I won't pressure him that much. And then the next day, which was a Saturday, I got a WhatsApp notice from my physics teacher. He actually finished my recommendations letter. So I was so shocked, right? I was like, damn, he actually finished it in like a day. I mean, I felt thankful, but at the same time I felt guilty. But you know what? What's done is done and I can like move on to the next hurdle, which is the predicted grades. The predicted grades, I literally had to bother my DP advisor constantly in order for me to get my predicted grades. 
okay? Because your girl is, again, racing against time at this point. I was like, girl, if you're not gonna do it, then I'm gonna force my teachers to do it for me. Like, excuse me? And eventually, I got my predicted grace good. All I needed to do was a school transcript and the certificate of graduation, okay? Bear with me for these two documents, okay? So for the school transcript, you know what your girl did? Your girl basically like printed all of my report cards from grade 10, first semester and second semester until like grade 12. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, I guess that's all I needed to send. And oh my god, my dumbass also did not fill in the certificate of graduation. So I just left it on my desk while the rest of the documents, I already put everything in like one big file and like sent it to the mail person just to like ship my documents to like Waseda. But the thing is, bitch. I only had like around two days for my package to arrive to Japan, all right? So basically what I did was that <laughs> I went to all over my like neighborhood, I guess, to find like a mail place that could ship my documents as fast as they can. So the first was JNE, 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 whatever. And they took like four days, four working days at that. And by the time it was on the 22nd of Feb, so of course I'm gonna be late for my application. So I was like, damn, this, this is not gonna cut. And then I went to Tiki. When I asked for Tiki, they said, I don't think they do like international like shipping. So that's a bust. And then I also asked Post Indonesia? I don't remember what it's called. But when they yeah, didn't do like international shipping. So I was like, I had no other choice but, but to go to JNA, right? I don't think I'm gonna submit this document early or like on time. So yeah, I was like, you know what? Maybe let's just go to JNA. But my driver, <laughs> my driver helped me to like convince me to go to FedEx because FedEx is like a I mean, big company that ships like worldwide. So I was like, you know what? Maybe let's just try. So of course I went there and then turns out their shipping time was like only two days. And thinking about it, two days and it was the 22nd of July, the 22nd of Feb. So maybe there's a chance for me to send it early or like on time. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just use FedEx. But bitch, oh my god, the prize! Ah, rip my wallet. Like, you know what? I will sacrifice everything just to make me be able to apply to Waseda. You know what? I was like, fine. So yeah, your girl wasted money just for shipping my whole f documents to Waseda University. And then two days have passed on the 24th, 24th. And then I got an email from Waseda. They said, we have received your package, but, but, my certificate, your certificate of graduation is still not uh, in the document. And then I had to also redo my high school transcript. So I was like, damn, okay, what am I gonna do? I talked to my DP advisor. I literally just forward that email to my DP coordinator. So I forwarded to her and she was like, oh, okay, um, cool. So yeah, she handled it. So once I got that printed documents, I immediately went back to FedEx, paid more money, <laughs> and then of course sent it back. That was my second time going to FedEx. And you know, your girl forgot about the certificate of graduation. <laughs> I literally had to go back to FedEx the third time to send that one paper from Jakarta to Japan <laughs> and have to waste like, I forgot, like 700k just because of it? I mean, just because of one piece of paper? Oh my god, your girl was already like ready to sue but at the same time, I just want to go to Waseda. Like, 
to take my money, whatever. I just I just want to go to Waseda. I basically went to FedEx three times just to send documents to Waseda. Even the post person remembered my face. <laughs> he was like, oh, um, where are you applying? Like, oh, Waseda, oh, I see, I see. And then the second time he was like, oh, you're back? Um, okay. Just, and then the third time he was like, why are you here again? Are there any problems? We were just there like vibing, I guess, but it was just so weird. I guess it was chill. Like everything was settled. The documents was like received. So yeah, everything was fine. And then I got a notification by Waseda again. It turns out I need to go through like a, an interview type of shit. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. On the day of the interview, however, I was so freaking nervous. This might sound weird, but I had to do my uh, interview in my brother's room. You know why? Because my brother's room did not have this. This is the reason why I did not put, why I did not do my interview in my room. Because of this. If I show them this, they're going to say that I'm like a big weeb. I mean, I am, but like, I don't want that to be my first impression, right? I, I want I want it to be professional. So the interview went on. I had to introduce myself, why we chose Waseda. It was pretty basic. And then they also asked me about why I moved from Math HL to Math SL. And I think I told you guys before in my previous video. But again, it's because of the environment. The environment was shit, okay? I couldn't handle it. But in terms of the actual like lessons, I was okay with it. But at the same time, like the teacher was toxic. I'm so sorry. So of course I moved. And then I also had to mention about like why I chose civil and environmental engineering. So yeah, I kind of answered something along the lines of me wanting to improve the infrastructures or like natural disaster prevention technology in Indonesia. So yeah, I guess that's my answer because honestly, I kind of forgot because it's been like months. <laughs> oh, and I also, um, they also asked me about like my experience of teaching, right? Yeah, so I guess they're kind of impressed by that. I'm not really sure on like their basis, but yeah, I, I saw their expressions and one of them, they were like, so I kind of thought that was like a good thing because that basically is a sign of them being impressed. Yeah, the interview went great. And then I had to wait another month just to get my acceptance. Within the, the span of a month, it was basically the month where I did not know what to do. I was literally asking myself like, do I really want to continue my like German lessons? Because at the time I kind of stopped because I was conflicted. I was so invested in going to Waseda that I kind of forgot my main duty, which is to go to German universities. And within that month, I was like contemplating like, hmm, if I do get accept accepted to Waseda, I don't know what to do with my German, right? My German university options because to be very honest with y'all, like even though I am in an IBDP, if my German proficiency is not in B2 or B1, I still have to join Student College. And if you don't know what Student College is, Student College is basically like a class where you have to take for a year before you join the actual university or like um, the actual classes in your your uni. So you cannot immediately join your uni, you know, because I'm applying to public schools in German, right? So like, I really need to focus on my German speaking skills, I guess. So yeah, by the time I, I don't think I can catch up to B1 at least. So yeah, I kind of gave up and kind of accepted the fact that, you know, if I have to go through student college, then I don't mind. So I have to take a gap year in order for me to actually like study immediately so like my top priority now is to literally just study like immediately so like if i have the opportunity to study like this year which is in september 20 or like fall 2021 
then I would take that offer within a heartbeat. And in this case, this was Waseda. So if I get accepted into Waseda, then of course I will like accept that offer. Me and my parents kind of agreed to that plan, and so we stick to it till the very end. So on the day of the results of Waseda, yeah, your girl got accepted. Finally! I felt like I have accomplished something that was so hard to go through because literally your girl <laughs> did everything in her power just to go through the application like process. That application period was so difficult. But you know, your girl got here. Finally. And yeah, um, I don't know about you guys, but this was literally my first and last uni application I've ever done. Like damn. It just it just had to be like that. And yeah, I guess that is my application experience to Waseda and I hope you learned something, I guess. I'm so sorry if this is like kind of boring. But yeah, I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much if you have reached this far. Um, I guess, see you next time. Bye!